What is up, YouTube universe? All right, so I'm coming at you live out here in the, out in the shop today. I'm uh, just going to do a quick update. I haven't done one of these in a little while. Uh, we have been busy out here in the shop. It has been nuts. We've had a lot of orders come in, a lot of repeat customers, which is always fantastic. Love our repeat customers. Thanks so much out to you guys. Uh, we've got a lot going on in the shop today. Got a lot going on in my own personal life and a lot going on at work. So I figured I've got a few moments. Kids are still up, wife's out playing with them, and uh, and I figured I'd come out here and just give you guys a quick update on some of the things that we got going on. So I haven't done a video because I actually lost the video of me setting up the rail system. I set up a T3 Delta rail system on a table saw that I had donated to the shop. So I figured I'd show you guys that and you get a sneak peek of some of the stuff that we've got going on here so nice Delta T3 rail We've got it all set up it slides nice back and forth it's accurate and you notice it's a little dusty because we have been using it it has been fantastic I love this table saw thank you so much a big shout out to my contractor buddy that that donated this table saw to our shop he said it was just taking up space and he's actually, some of the dust is actually caused by him um, because he's been doing some uh, renovations on some houses and he's needed some wood ripped. And so we've been cutting plywood, we've been cutting um, poplar boards and different things on here and it's been fun. I've been loving it. It's been great to do something a little different. You know, it's always enjoyable and I'm always happy to help. You know, he donated it to me and when he gives me a call and says, hey, can I come by and make four rip cuts on a, on your table saw? It's like, absolutely, please do. I'd love to help. You know, it's always a lot of fun and uh, I, I love helping out, you know, good people and he's a great guy. Absolutely adore him. Known him for a number of years. Maybe adore is the wrong word to use for a man. I don't know. You guys let me know down in the comments below. So, but today in the shop, we got an order in. So I've got right here, uh, I've got a whole bunch of Triton fountain pen kits. I've got some replacement parts for parts that were wrong. I've got some bushings for something exciting. 50 caliber pen might be coming out in the future. You might just have to stay tuned for that one. Um, let's see, in here, mini sketch pencil. My contractor buddy actually wanted me to make a mini sketch pencil, and so I've got in here a couple of mini sketch pencils. I'm going to make one for him, and I think I'm going to do one for myself. I always love the, the sketch pencils. They're absolutely a wonderful tool to write with. They don't use the tiny leads. These ones use like a three millimeter lead, so it's a nice big lead, and it works fantastic. It's smooth. You sharpen the tip, which is built right into the the clicker on it is the little sharpener, and they're awesome. They're great. They're fantastic. I'm looking forward to turning those up for him. I made him a custom blank. Well, I had some um, stabilized maple burl that I cast up for him a while back, or that I take that back. I stabilized it a while back, and then I cast him up a super hybrid blank. So this is a cutoff, a leftover section from it. And I had to chip all the bark out manually because it had a lot of bark inclusions and things all through there. And then um, I cut it in half, flipped the sides around so that way this end and this end were toward the middle. And then I cast that up with a piece of aluminum honeycomb. And him being a navy guy, he wanted it in ocean blue. And so we set that up for him in ocean blue. And here is that hybrid blank. You can look forward to that coming out in probably another 45 second video. I don't know, did you guys like the 45 second uh, casting video that I set out recently? Let me know in the comments section down below. It was fun to do. I kind of enjoyed actually setting up just that real quick 45 second video. It was not easy to do, but it was easier than setting up a full 15, 20 minute video and uh, it was kind of enjoyable. If you think it should be a little longer, maybe a 90 second video, you know, and then I can slow things down a little bit. You can see a little more detail of what I'm doing. You know, I, I can do that too. Absolutely. Go and let me know down again in the comments section below and I'll be happy to read those. You guys know that I read all your comments and I usually reply and I appreciate any feedback that you guys give me so long as it's constructive. You know, if you go on there and rant and rave and you feel free to do that too. Free country, freedom of speech, um, you know, but I don't guarantee that I will be, I don't guarantee that I'll be the nicest back or take it to heart as much, you know. If, if you want to rant and rave, that's your opinion, um, and feel free to give it, but I always love constructive criticism, even if it's, 
negative but constructive. There's a difference there between just ranting and raving and being constructively negative. I think that's the term. I'll go with that. So, um, let's see what else did we get. Oh, out in the shop I got a gallon of cactus juice so I can do some more stabilization because the stuff that I got last year has expired so we got some of that and then uh, picked up some cotton candy oh what was it cotton candy aluma dust because we have a customer that wants us to make her a pen out of some hot pink with glitter cast inside of it so we're going to be doing that one up it's going to be a fun one she's a nurse it's going to be a necklace pen and so that just got in the mail today so that's going to be coming out to you uh here real soon you guys will be seeing that video uh in the future as well but i always put out my videos after i've already given it to the customers it gives them a nice little surprise you know it's like an unveiling you know a unveil it i give them the pen and it's inside of a black velvet sheath and then they open it up and they go oh Oh, and it's exciting for me. It's exciting for them. It's like Christmas, you know. They get something that's custom made for them, and they absolutely love it. And I love seeing their reaction every time. So I always put the videos out after I've already given them the pens. That way, it's it's an exciting moment for them. So sorry if sometimes you know I talk about a video and then it doesn't always come out right away. That's one of the reasons why that. And I've had so much work I've had to do out in the shop, I haven't had a whole lot of time for actually editing up videos lately. So I look forward to getting some more of those out there so you guys can see some of the stuff we got going out in the shop. Well, I've gone on for about seven minutes now, so I think I will cut it off there. just wanted to give you guys a quick update. I'm still out here in the shop. I'm still around, still doing stuff, still busy as ever. And my daughters are growing up. They're absolutely beautiful. I've got a five-month-old little girl, and my two-year-old is so much fun. She's absolutely a hoot. She's learning all sorts of new words, learning all sorts of new things, and uh, is talking so much more and able to communicate with us, which is fantastic. For those parents out there that, that know what that's like when all of a sudden your child can communicate to you what's wrong or why they're acting a certain way, it's wonderful. <laughs> so, all right, well, I'll go ahead and cut this out. You guys have a great evening. This is Tactical Painter and Suits Crafting Woodshop signing out.